Senator Harry Coates, thanks for allowing us to come and talk to you about what's going on up here. Well, good morning. Thanks for coming over. We are at the Capitol, and Senator Coates, there's a number of issues that uh, have been fired as live rounds now, and a number of them that cause you concern. Well, true. Uh, uh, tort reform is one of the things. We, we overhauled uh, our uh, system two years ago and uh, reformed the way that uh, uh, awards are received out there in, in an effort to avoid what, what is called jackpot justice. Uh, out there, and uh, now we're taking another shot at it. And and to tell you the truth, we've got some uh, uh, some bills that are headed from the Senate to the House of Representatives. They're live rounds. They have uh, the titles are on on the bills, and they will make their way to the governor really quickly. But uh, in my opinion, it's not good legislation. It hurts the the little guy out there that's just just struggling, trying to make it, and the injured party uh, that uh, uh, may not have the money to to fund a, a just a great uh, uh, defense, or not defense, but uh, fund, fund his uh, uh, lawsuit uh, as necessary, and uh, truthfully, uh, they're, they're bad bills. Well, there's a number of steps in which bills have to go through in order to become even a live mm -hmm. round. They have mm -hmm. to come into a committee, be, a, be appointed to a committee, come out of a committee, and then go to the floor on the respective legislative side, mm -hmm. this side being the Senate, and it has already passed the Senate floor, the, a number of bills dealing with tort reform. Mm -hmm. So it's on the way to the second step, which is passage over at the House. So teach us a little bit about these bills. What are the bills that are causing you concern? Well, they're, they're, uh, they're in sequence. Uh, Senate Bill uh, 863, I think, through 867. And the first one that has already gone to the House uh, is a cap on non-economic damages, uh, such as um, uh, if, if you weren't employed, uh, you don't get uh, economic damages because you weren't earning a, an income necessarily, which okay. that, that involves uh, homemakers, uh, retired people. And so the only way you have of gaining uh, anything and getting uh, compensated for, for your uh, issues is, would be through non-economic damages. It okay. puts a cap on that at 250000 Now, current law says the cap is at 400000 but the judge can lift the cap if, if necessary. It takes that away, and four hundred thousand dollars is not a lot of money in today's uh, uh, economy, and uh, so it, it's going to be a hard, very hard to at two hundred fifty thousand. It's going to be hard to attract uh, for someone that's an injured party, attract an attorney to even come help them because two hundred fifty thousand. By the time you take take all the uh, attorney's fees and, and the expert witnesses and what and whatnot, uh, the injured person may only end up with with the uh, a few thousand dollars at the, at the end of the day, and it's just not fair. It's not fair. And jackpot justice in Oklahoma, we have a great court system. We have conservative people out there that serve on juries. We're not seeing jackpot justice in Oklahoma. It just does not happen. So uh, we're, uh, we're, we're fighting a, an issue that, that just does not exist. But we have several bills that do that. Uh, well, one of the other bills uh, that says if I go buy insurance, mm -hmm. and this is Senate Bill 864, and have health insurance or have, have uh, uh, a, a policy for life insurance and uh, uh, I get killed, my family sues the, the, the party that, that caused the accident or whatever, that my life insurance can be, the amount that I have coming to me from my insurance company can be taken off of the award. What, I mean, I'm paying, paying for my own, uh, uh, my own loss here, so it doesn't make sense. It's a bad way to go about this, and, and I'm not particularly a friend, a friend of the legal community, but I am a friend of the, of the people that uh, end up injured and those that maybe don't have the resources to really fight one of these, uh, one of these uh, lawsuits and, and go out uh, and, and try to get, uh, get compensated. Uh, I just think it's wrong what we're doing. So to find these bills, you can go to Oklahoma or o OKSenate.gov and look up SB and then in the 860s, 860s is where they'll start. And you mentioned a term jackpot justice, with the, which is something that I, I like to interpret. I, I can interpret, but that means, I guess, big suits in which there's awards of millions and millions of dollars that possibly um, then clog the system. I mean, as common sense, we mm -hmm. think that if those awards are paid out, everything has to has to go up. All costs have to go up. But that's a that as I understand what you're saying, that doesn't necessarily happen that often in Oklahoma. 
I, I don't think there was there was a situation that was brought to us that has happened in the last few years where there's been any jackpot justice. And 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 what what we've done now in another bill, eight sixty six, it says if a if a defendant uh, is found guilty of of causing you injury, they don't really have to even pay you the money right after after the, it's settled. They can go buy an insurance policy or or a, an annuity pay an insurance company to pay you off over time. You may be dead before you ever get, get paid, and um, that, that's just another bad way to, to do business. And so really the, the injured individual out there, someone that's involved in car wreck or, or whatever else, at, at no, no fault of their own, mm -hmm. have been put at a tremendous disadvantage now as a result of these 860 series bills that, that are already uh, in the House. And my guess is they will pass the House and go to, go to the governor. And uh, uh, there's no backstop for them at this point. So if these are bills that interest you in how they're moving through, go ahead and look them up, but also make some calls to the representatives up here, your representatives, your governor, and also your senator, uh, Harry Coates, to encourage and to give ammunition, I guess, to fight the battle for you. Absolutely. Now, they may be amended in the House. If they're amended in any way, they come back to us on the Senate side. But unless they're amended, uh, they will go straight to the governor. So now the work uh, is, is to be done over in the House of Representatives. And uh, so that, that'd be a good starting place if you have a feeling uh, one way or the other on these tort reform bills. And you're a group if you've got five friends. <laughs> don't, don't feel that one person can't make a difference. You make a difference. Just let your voice be heard and just get a small group together because a lot of times a small group mm. is a big group. That's true. You shouldn't discount uh, the, uh, your voice in government. I mean, one person sometimes can make a huge difference in this building. Well spoken. Let's, let's all try to make a difference. Senator Coates, thank you as thank always you. for allowing us and, and for sharing information with thank us. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Thank you.